Okay, so I'll start with the budget module. So I'll go into the role explorer. And yeah, here we find the budget module. So these menus are, you know, based on decided on what role center you have selected. If you have accountant role center, then it can be on the uh, front page as well in the home page. So, okay, so this is a budget page. So here you have to create a new budget. For example, what I have done, I have just uh, created a budget and I have given a name and a particular description. For example, if I want to create a new one, I have to simply click on new and I have to just assign any code and description for the budget. This is how you do it. And apart from that, for example, I've created the second one, 2020 and budget for year 2020. And apart from that, we have uh, two global dimensions and the three budget dimensions. Well, I'll tell you how you are going to use these budgets, oh, yeah. uh, these dimensions in the budget. But uh, keep in mind that you have five options for tagging the budget. Two is global dimension. Global dimension is a dimension which flows throughout the system, irrespective of the model. It be finance, purchase, sales throughout the system. And uh, budget dimensions can be uh, uh, shortcut dimensions and global dimensions, which can be tagged on specifically for the use of budget. I'll show you how this works. So after you have given a code and a description to the budget, now you have to define the budget. So for that, you have to click on process and go to edit budget. And here you can see that these fields are autofill. And here you have three sections. First is the general fast tab, then the budget matrix, then the filter tab. In the general first tab, you can define what will be the lines and the columns for your budget. For example, I have kept it the lines as uh, my GL account and the P, uh, the columns as my period. For example, January, February, 20. You have other options as well if you want to see. For example, uh, the dimensions which I have tagged there will be visible. So whatever dimension, let it be the three uh, budget dimensions and two global dimensions. If you tag it, those will be available here for selection as a column and as a, a line as well. So for example, the departments and customer group, these two are dimensions. The GL account is by default available, which fetches all the GLs from the chart of account. And period is, you know, like uh, January, February, and uh, whatever the date period is. And the business unit is in different, uh, uh, a different concept for that. So that we are not using for now. But business units are uh, the different units if you have in your business. So that can also be defined. But for here, we are not using business unit. Okay, so similar options you have, the same options you have in the column side as well. So you can define whatever columns and rows you want. Here I have taken the GL account as rows and the columns as my periods. Also, you have the option of viewing it by, let's say, month, day, week, quarter, year. And the rounding factor also there. For example, right now you can see the amounts as 1,000, 2,000. If I change it to, let's say, uh, 1,000, then you can see the figure. It's like 1K and 2K. So these kind of rounding options are already there. Now, this is a general tab. Coming to the filters, coming to the uh, budget matrix tab, this is where you actually need to input uh, your uh, budget amount. So earlier, for example, what happens here, I have provided a date filter because I have made sure that uh, I'm explaining the budget for 2020. And I have uh, put a GL account filter as well. So initially, when if I remove it from here, you can see that everything comes up with whatever there is in the chart of account. Again, I have applied a filter of whether it is income statement or balance sheet. So I have applied for income statement. So all these kind of filters you can apply here. Also, uh, addition to income statement, I have made sure that I take only the expense side. So I have applied the filter of expense side as well. So these kind of filtrations you can do. If you haven't applied any of the filter, then the whole chart of account will be visible there. Now, again, let me just put it here. So for the sake of simplicity, I have just taken two ledgers for this demo. Now you can see that electricity and heating, repairs and maintenance. So these are the actual ledgers from your chart of account. Now to define the uh, figures, define the budget is really simple. For example, in January, I have defined thousand. So I've just I have to put a manual number like so here, like this. You can define for all the ledgers which you have. So I've defined till June if you want to define for July as well. Then so now here in the first column you can see that it, the budgeted amount is the sum of all the periods which we have got here. Also, this is uh, the column wise total is also there. Now, so you can define it like this. Again, you have a second option in which for example, I have defined it uh, 1500 for January month. Now, if you click here in the assist edit, 
you can see the whatever budgets I define, it will be visible here. Now, if you want to define here also, then you can define it. And here you have the option of defining it different date wise. For example, in the January month, you want to define in the first date, you are getting 1000 expense. In the second date, you're getting this month budget. So that way also you can define. For example, here I can define, let's say 500. And that will be again visible in my total budget. Both ways you can do either you can go here in this form and define or either you can directly define it here. OK, now after you have defined budget now uh, defining the budget, the first method I've shown you is the manual method in which I have created the code and description and I've filled everything. There are two uh, more methods as well. Either you can take the template out and you can fill in the Excel template and you can import the template. Also, if you have an existing budget defined then you can copy that uh, existing budget and you can edit the fields there so three methods are available for creating the budget now after you have created the budget you can go and compare it with the actual expenses which have incurred so for that you need to go to report and you have gl account by budget so here i'll just select the view by as here So here you can see that the cleaning expenses is 5217.42. I have selected the whole year for now. You can see the filter is for the complete year. I can also change the filtration here. And you can see that the budgeted debit amount is this and the for the second ledger, the budget debit amount 95,000. So you can see that only this much percentage of the actual budget is utilized, 30.7 uh, and 54.9. Uh, so let's say if I want to see only for the January month, then I can change the filter here and you can see now I can see then the January month the actual budget the actual uh, figures are these and the budgeted figures are these and hence uh, the total budget utilized in percentage is this much here also in the totaling you can see here okay now if you want to see uh, for example 869.57 so how you have got this figure then again you can drill down and you can see whatever the transactions So this is one thing, and you have all kind of filtrations in this page, filters in this page as well. So you can apply those filters and see accordingly. And apart from that, you have got few other reports as well. Now I'll show you the export option as well first. Here you have the option of export to Excel. Simply have to select the start date. So let's say 1st of January and number of periods. So let's say I want for six months. So I'll just keep at six and period length one month. Automatically all filters are applied as per my current budget. I'll click on, okay, I'll keep the include totaling formula as on. I've got this Excel. Now here you can see I have already defined the figure. Let's say I want to edit it here or also if I want to change it or even if it is blank and I want to update it, I can do. So let's say this and two. So uh, when I checked on the totaling figure, it means that by default in the last column in the ninth row, the totaling will be applied. The formula is applicable there. So let's say I've changed these two figures and again, I have to simply save it. And uh, when I import okay. it, it asks me whether I want to uh, add these figures or want to replace these figures with the existing figures. So okay. Two options here I get. Okay, all right. So I'll just So you can see that I have two options, uh, replace entries and add entries. So let's say I'll go for replace entries and it has given you already by default a description that imported from Excel on this particular date. Uh, if I want to change the description, I can change it. I'll just keep it for now. Choose file. 
So minus this. So Manny, can I can I ask with the with the package that we're buying for Business Central, does this come native with what we're? Yes, yes, yes. Fairly intuitive, I mean. So you can see the figures which I've updated is here. So that way you can update uh, even for a blank budget and for a new budget and existing budget as well. Now, uh, apart from that, I have a few more reports. For example, the trial balance of budget. I'm just putting the blank filter so that the whole chart of account doesn't come up. And I'm putting the date filter as well. Okay, let me just print preview. So here you can see you, know, you get the same ledgers and you get a column, a group of net change and balance. And in the net change, again, you get the same, like what is the debit amount and how much is the percentage used. And the balance, you get it from the starting of the period. For example, if I have generated it from 2nd of 2020, then in the balance, the figures will be from January itself. But in the net change, the figures will be on the date range which I have applied. So this is one of the report. And second report I have is budget. So this will give you a plain and simple view of all the budgets you have defined, the amount of the budgets, and period-wise. So this is one of the reports as well. And also you have the option of copying another budgets. And you can copy the actual GL accounts, which you have incurred in the previous uh, periods or from the different budgets as well. So that option is also there. So these three reports are basically available in the budget module. And that's pretty much it in the budget part.